Yeah, I thought you were just having a psychic moment. No, not that time. It's itty bitty. How cute. This is a 1916. Yeah. Yeah, it was supposed to be sunny today. Joke's on us. I love it. Don Ariel was sold to a company in uh, Virginia for hauling lumber. It looks like they it was going to say something else here. <laughs> There's a train coming and we just crossed the tracks. We'll get to see it, y'all. This will come right by here. That's exciting. Here it comes. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I remember the Raiders met here to begin the daring locomotive chase. Yeah. <laughs> we can't get away from them train thieves. <laughs> Yeah, we'll link y'all to that. It's one of my favorite videos we did, even though it wasn't the most popular. I don't know what's free today. I don't know. We'll see. Hey, get off my plane! <laughs> <laughs> it's a family day. Well, hello. Well, all right. Welcome back. Welcome back. We're at Marietta, Georgia today. We are going to go see the Marietta History Museum. The History Center. History Center. Yes, but we're kind of close because right on the other yeah. side of the phone is train tracks. Yeah, we can't, we can't move fence, forward. And so we can't yeah. get any closer. But um, it's uh, the history of Marietta and it's got Civil War artifacts. Uh, Native American, American artifacts, all kinds of stuff. Political stuff. I mean, it's yeah. what, you know, whatever. First time here. We, we hadn't We've come, lived. come over here to the uh, square but once, I think. Yeah. Long time ago. Yeah. Um, on the other side. Oh, church bells. <laughs> Wait, y'all gonna know what time it is. We keep I going. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, on the other side is the Gone with the Wind Museum. They're temporarily closed. So I wanted to go there. I'm gonna walk over there and just see. It's one of my most favorite books. I have the second edition print copy. We're gonna go there and see why they're closed. Yeah. So. Maybe they're doing some remodeling, but the uh, Margaret Mitchell house downtown Atlanta is also closed, so they're probably working together with some stuff. Yeah. But anyway. We'll go check it out. Yep. Today was free day. Yeah, we didn't even plan it that way. Yeah, we didn't even know. I'm we, not even that cheap. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, Tommy likes it, but it's free. Yeah, I would like it. The very first room I've come to. <laughs> Y'all, I'm serious. If you have never heard the story of the Great Locomotive Chase and the General, you have got to check it out. The Texas Senator. Yep. He's telling you where to sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite. Where that came from. So I wrote bed. Really? Yeah. 
That's crazy. We're standing in the room. That's amazing. Maybe I was looking out the window. <laughs> <laughs> Looking out the window, just plotting. But he was about to jack that train. Talk about running up on stuff. We didn't plan it. No, we did not plan this. <clears throat> See, originally they were. Uh, Penalized and who they caught, most of them were hung, including Andrews. But then later they became uh, heroes for the North win in the war. Uh, this um, rocking chair belonged to William A. Fuller, the uh, conductor. Yeah, he was the of conductor a of the general. And he went through like crazy lengths to get this back, or to get the, the train back. Wow. I never wanted to touch stuff so bad in my life. Wow, how cool. So there must have been some kind of... It was a um, Federal Memorial Day celebration. What year? 1899. Well, there's a sequoia dude that created the Cherokee language. David Van. He was still chief. Yeah, he was. Yeah. <laughs> sure is. Creek Indian pottery. Mortar and pestle. You and Mogs. Oh, wow. I'd like to have that in my living room. Put that right in the bay window, Tommy. So the bad part is the museums is all the glass. Yeah, it puts glare. Yeah. The Native American artifacts. Pharmacist bottles. Yes. I, need to, I need to get mine out. Yeah, Tommy has a collection of pharmacy bottles. Some of these look like some of the ones you have. The Valier Craft jumpsuit belonged to Lenora Cavalian. She's born in Damascus, Georgia. Cool. The 
Lockheed. That's what a lot of people don't know. Most of the work was done by the women here. What? Most of it was done by the women. Oh, yeah, that's true. Lockheed Hercules. <laughs> I thought you were tired about my newspaper. Oh, career. yeah, I don't know. It's print press. I, I worked on them. That's a beast. Cluj. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> they don't look like that now, but I bet you, you could, it, it, it still, still works. works. I guarantee it still works. The cash register. Yeah, yeah. Why well, the hell are you ready to have a bit of bitch? What was it? It's okay, Trisha. Let's see. Cash. Moon sale. Team paid out. Oh. Hmm. A chair company. So I'm assuming that was their chairs. I was assuming it would be a correct. Grover's Legacy. Oh, Glover's Machine Works. Remember, we saw that at the uh, train museum. They yeah. had the whole That's factory. The train is outside. Yeah. Oh. They had the uh, whole factory right. in that museum. That was pretty cool. <laughs> These ones always creep me out a little bit. Some of the gadgets. Oh, check. Automobile. Six ID tags. dollars. And there's some torture devices that they use. Yeah. Some of these things, I'm trying to get it where there's not such a glare, but it's impossible. Yeah. Yeah, you get that there, you can see it. There's the four sets. Most women know what those are. Speculum. Ooh. <laughs> That's the ranch. Oh, you looking at that one? Look at that one. <laughs> <laughs> what was this? Ear scope. Oh, I love it. Very practical. I want these in my yard. <laughs> Tired of the family portrait? Try building a totem pole instead. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. It's crazy. What was that? Oh, my gosh. It was like a torture device. Um, weave machine? Yeah. Dang. The first method of permanently curling hair. This. A perm. <laughs> oh, there's a picture of it being used. Oh my gosh. That's a hell of a device. It is. I'd be afraid I'd get electrocuted and caught on fire. I know. <laughs> The original wall? Yeah. I can't hear you, you're speaking like Yes, that. well. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Huh. So this is one of the high schools that was here. You can watch a movie. Oh, I love it. <laughs>
I was pregnant with Vanessa when uh, that happened. Kitchen of tomorrow today? Yeah. I like it. 1940s kitchen. Love that oven stove. Ooh, that's my, hey look, that's my cabinet. Yeah, the flower. Yeah, the flower sifter. Dutch cookbook. Yeah, <laughs> somewhere. Yep, I sure do. Hot chest. Yeah. Washing machine. The way mine's been acting lately, I'm about ready to go back to that. Love that man. Henry Green Colt, the most contradicted man in Georgia. Why was he the most contradicted man? Let's see. Is. <laughs> Mary, take a moment to imagine Marietta in the 19th century. From the 1830s log cabins to hotels and nightly concerts of the 1850s. Imagine war draining city resources so that the soldiers even melted church bells for bullets. Think of the determined town folks who rebuilt their homes during the Reconstruction. This is the Marietta full of contradictions, defeated and renewed, that Henry Greg Cole loved so much. Imagine the life of this man who once wrote, There have I lived, there will I die. Pianos, Edison player. Little Victrola. Those would not play on that. You had to have one of them. So cool. Ours is older. It's a 1920. Ours is a 1912 and 1914. Yeah, yeah, we got them beat. <laughs> And it still works. I love these old doors, these old lamp posts. Pretty cool. Old cobblestone streets. <coughs> yeah. Dang, they do. With the general. What did you think about the uh, Marietta History Center? I thought it was actually pretty great. Um, they had a little bit of something in there of interest for everybody. Yeah. So, you know, whether it was like Native American artifacts or Civil War history or even just modern war history. Uh, locomotive. Locomotives. The, the, the trade depot was right there. Literally right there. Yeah, the, that was a hotel where the Marietta History Center is. So the action was right here. You know, you might get a good vlog. 
when he gets out of the car and says, I feel like we've been here before, but I know we haven't. Mm. Yeah, let's get it right, right? These were the uh, the ones that were moved. From Chickamauga. From Chickamauga to here. From, because, I think because of Mary Green. Because of Mary Green. Sean, judging by her picture from last time, <laughs> that's her. And then that would be her sister, and I'm not sure who that person was. soldiers in this cemetery from every southern state who fell on Georgia's soul. 3,000. 3,000. This little cannon <laughs> served at the Georgia Military Institute from 1852 to 1864. Then went into the Confederate Army, was captured on Sherman's march to the seat in 1864 through 1865 and held as a trophy of war until 1910. It was then returned by the United States government to the Confederate, Confederate Cemetery at Marietta. Wow. <laughs> it's seen some stuff, huh? Yeah, it sure has. I thought it was gonna be warmer than this. The well, they said it then. Be pretty. <laughs> That's what they said. Crazy. Tells you about the cemetery, Garden of Heroes. There's a sign over there too. What'd you say? This looks so familiar, like we've been here. No, we haven't. Maybe you were buried here in a past life. The greatest friend. University of Yeah it is. Hold up. Yes. This is where that little girl was buried. Mary something. She's down on the back side there. Maddie's buried in that yeah, that's her. So we must not have went further enough far enough. We're stupid. Yeah. <laughs> I told you it looked familiar. I thought maybe we were having like a psychic experience. So there was something over here too. I, th I thought he was having a psychic experience. Now we're going to go to the roof house. That's right. Yeah. Beloved merchant, druggist, and Episcopalian. Huh? Right there. Yep. No, this is him. James Leonard Root. <laughs> All righty. Well, let's <clears throat> move back towards the car. Well, we didn't do the Confederate part down there. I don't even remember seeing any we of that. Came down this road and we I know, because we stopped at the slave lot. And I thought it looked familiar, but when I seen that, I was like, we did here. Well, it rung a bell that Sanford, because I remember looking at that one. Well, you can read this damn side. <laughs> Yeah, I thought you were just having a psychic moment. No, not that time. Well, you know you've been to a lot of places <laughs> and a lot of cemeteries when you forget which ones you've been to. We are at Come and Get It Family Restaurant. And it must be good because this place is packed. There was like no parking. One parking spot though. One parking spot, we got it. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, we have breaking news. What did you say? I said it, I thought it was a little expensive, not for yours, but I got two hot dogs and, for, uh, and uh, onion rings. I thought it was a little expensive, but I'm not even gonna complain about it. Why? Because it was good. It was good. Usually you'll pay extra for something like that and it's crap.
this is a pretty good price. Yeah, this place lived up to the hype. Yeah. Well, I, I didn't really, yeah, I didn't know there was any hype. <laughs> I, I didn't even know this place existed. Did you just make up hype? <laughs> I did. <laughs> well, well, all right, right. Welcome, welcome back. So we went to come and get it. Come and get it. <laughs> it was it was really good. It was. I passed. It, it was worth the hype. There was no hype. <laughs> I pass that thing all the time. So now I know if I'm I got time I can stop and grab me a hot dog. Yeah, I had the euro. He had the hot dogs. This is the closest I've ever been to a, an actual moving train. That was cool. No, well, well, okay. Yeah, moving train. As you've been on one. Well, okay. <laughs> There's that. <laughs> shut up. Oh, oh. It's, it's the details. Oh, shut up, Tommy. <laughs> this museum was super cool. Yeah. I'll, Tommy hit that on the head. A lot, not a lot of people know that the women built the aircrafts during, mm -hmm. what was that, World War Two? Yeah, they, they um, the actual women ran all of the factories during World War Two. Yes, we know that, but they were building. They built everything. Yep. Everything. There's our general. Just like they do now. Just... <laughs> <laughs> there's those ladies um i found out that the third woman was tommy don't know this found out the third woman was actually just supposed to be like a conglomeration of all women who helped oh okay so she was just a character she was everybody yeah it was a cool cool place but we felt pretty stupid that we'd already been there <laughs> yeah but we didn't go to the bottom side we were on the top side for some reason and we never put two and two together when we uh, decided to go there. Yeah. But anyway, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you know when we upload new videos. Till next time, bye-bye. Stay, Stay spicy. spicy.